8.38. Everyone in their costumes. There might be some references here and there. Oh, I second vowel, okay. <laughs> Oh, Freddy Krueger. There's one there's one reference. Does he know it's him? Going headfirst into a trap. Okay. Okay, Mei Mei and Yuji. Okay. Younger brother. <laughs> Yuji is just some ordinary guy. We you how do you say his name? Wee oui, wee? Oui, you Hi, Mei Mei. Mei Mei Mi Mi Yu Yu. Itadori kun, ikisaki henkouda. Eh? Meiji Jingu Mae. I much prefer her haircut when she was younger, where she, you can actually see where she's going. Hashiru yo? Tsuite oide? Boss! He can definitely keep up. Kitana. Okay. Ooh. That's Chozo with them, isn't it? I've seen him before. <laughs> I have a friend who simps over him, so <laughs> I know his name and his design. So Jogo, Hanami, and Chozo all there. Also, be sure to check out the Patreon page where you can get next week's episode right now. Some Studio Ghibli reactions and a full-length version of this where you can watch along with me. Todo and Yuji again. I can't wait to see that. The, them two were fighting along there. I'm worried... Nobara. There's a lot of anime openings where a character's covering their eyes and they like lose their eyesight or something happens. Is she gonna lose an eye? Because she, she, she's quite obviously just doing this. Okay, they know about the second one too. What is it? Transfigured humans. Okay. So he knows Mojito's here. <laughs> Are they acting as spies? Someone's... Is that you use power? Oh no, no, Mei Mei's doing it, okay. Neisama is big sister, isn't it? That's what they say for sister isn't it they got the same hair as well b4 okay <laughs> getting a map of everything going on but that's got what the extra barrier yeah i gotta figure out the conditions of the veil okay <laughs> They all know, yeah. So is this whole thing ha all happening underground? Going like a little bit of a raid. Yeah, we're getting maps. Oh, <laughs> is eating something? Yeah. A bug guy. Still moving, wow. Ate, just ate his head while he was still alive. Are you just a bug shaped one or are you like the fear of bugs? Yeah, that's the first time he's, Yuji's actually learning the name. Oh, yeah, the nail from before. Is that physically protecting it? Yeah. <laughs> Keep saying how clever he is. <laughs> Just 
Stop underestimating humans. Mm. We can fight back too. Just the insect curse, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> is he right or is it an insult because it's just grasshoppers? <laughs> Yuji really isn't, so for some for someone to call him clever. <laughs> Okay, so specifically for grasshoppers and locusts. It's like Todo and Itadori, they share a brain cell, you know, so this guy, he's got nothing up there. <laughs> Swarms are kind of creepy, you know, imagine yourself being swarmed by them. If you can split up into multiple, that would be a pain to destroy as well, a pain to be... Mm -hmm. We've already seen it can eat, eat through flesh. Quite fast as well, actually. The perspective there was cool, the perspective change. I was trying to figure out what was actually happening. <laughs> oh, the scale has changed loads as well there. He looked huge for a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oddly comedic, this guy as well. Right up close and personal. Gonna get a black flash? He's keeping up with four arms, yeah, double the amount of arms. <laughs> it's giving all my end. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of anime where things like that happen, where it's just punches on punches. <laughs> But he's still winning, yeah. He isn't a normal human though, is he? Like, even the noise, it sounds like gunshots, doesn't it? Ooh. That looked really cool with him in shadow with the glowing fist. Music. <laughs> Sounding cool. Is he going to say something here? Okay, attacking using his abdomen. <laughs> Just cut it right off, yeah. The voice there, what was whose voice was that narrating? Do we have a narrator now or is there a specific person? It obviously it doesn't sound like um Sukuna or anything. Yeah, he's off separate from the main group. And where is Ghetto in all of this as well, you know? <laughs> Mm. I mean, they already uh, nominated him, didn't they? Oh, she's seen something, yeah. Oh. Hanami trapping them in, of course. <laughs> I found Wally or Waldo for Americans. <laughs> Are they just Android 17? Was that? Are they, they just, yeah, getting people around so he can't go all out? That makes sense. People to protect.
Although they did consider everyone here just already did, didn't they? A bloodbender, a blood manipulation. Okay. Of course, no effect on Gojo. Focus on defense rather than attack. Yeah, he's unfazed still, but that was part of their plan. It's like slowly getting closer. Jogo knows firsthand how, what fighting Gojo is like. Okay, so they themselves are the domain. If they can nullify his attacks, his, um, yeah, nullify his power. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. No domains. I don't know if they he will actually focus that much on saving, though. <laughs> yeah, that he's something more. 20 minutes. The prison realm. Ah, the bubble popping, and they, they leave it at that. That must be him coming in and making the surprise. Okay, so that was Jujutsu Kaisen. Season 2, Episode 8. Finally getting into, like, Shibuya arc proper. Um, I might need to rewatch a few things there because it seems they're being very intentional with the kind of layout and ha the sp spatialness of this. Um, I've got a rough idea, you know, Gojo, what's happening with him is like right at the bottom level and then Yuji and Mei Mei are kind of further up working their way down. So we had a quick little fight with Yuji and this grasshopper guy, probably just two you know, bring Yuji back into the fold of it. We haven't seen him fight yet this season before he gets into the more serious ones. You know, um, establish where he is at the moment. He could take him out quite easily. He's so fast with the punches, you know, he really just took care of that. Someone with four arms punching and he was deflecting all of them and punching back even faster and showing a bit of his kind of mentality at the moment. Don't underestimate humans. Of course, we find out there's the transfigured humans. So we know Mojito is here and he finally learns Mojito's name. I hadn't realized he didn't know his name. Obviously, he'd heard Junpei. He'd heard Junpai say Mihito and call him Mihito, but now it's confirmed that Mihito is named Mihito, I guess, for him. And yeah, we saw the um, little nails that were stuck in the ground. So they were part of the domain expansion. They were part of that domain. That's what they'd picked up from the Mekamaru fight. That's how they were being used. Although I, I didn't expect them to come up so quickly. And I was thinking, oh, I'll keep that in mind for a while. But they're kind of done now. They've been destroyed. So um, part of everything is down. But there's still the lower bit where Gojo is, obviously. And then this plan to defeat Gojo. I don't know how well it's going to go. Obviously, we have Ghetto giving them a lot of good clues and ways to do things, you know, the um, attacks that would nullify someone else's technique. That makes a lot of sense. Learning that from the Toji fight, there is a way to get through. And then I think, so they've got Prison Realm here. They're mentioning Prison Realm. Um, and then that's when I'll come in. So I think what's going to happen is just mid fight that he said, hold out for 20 minutes. They'll fight for 20 minutes. Gojo and Jogo and Hanami and Chozo. And then Ghetto will just walk in and it'll be a huge surprise for Gojo, obviously, because he thinks he's dead. And in that moment of shock, they'll imprison him. That's, that seems like the plan. Um, it seems like a pretty good plan. So at the moment, you know, they're doing things that theoretically would work against him, like, you know, getting through his technique, getting through the infinity. But but all of that really 
is just a distraction for the big plan. It's just a delay for what just a delay for this big plan that will be soon. Of course, you know, if they're just delaying for time, they have to have a few make it seem like they know what they're doing. So that's why they're doing that. And then introduced to Chozo here, who, yeah, he's got this like black bar, but he has blood manipulation and the blood like came out of that. Is that like I can't quite tell what that kind of black bar is because it's not like a scar where blood would come out of it, but that's how he does blood, I imagine. And then we've only seen him do his own blood. I imagine he probably can do other people's blood. Is it only for exposed blood or is it just for any blood in general? And he can, you know, essentially blood bend like an avatar where you can control a person by controlling the blood within them. Because the level of control he had for blood there, he just like fired it out like a projectile. So theoretically, he could kill a lot of people really easy if you just, you know, extract the blood out of them or turn the blood like into spikes basically explode people couldn't you so i, I want to see kind of the scope of his power if it's only like exposed blood and he can't do internal blood so he, he had to get use his own so he actually has a weapon that there's probably some limitation to it or something right because that seems really overpowered and we're seeing joe go here he is killing a lot of people i think it's important to remember how strong he actually is because the only real time we've seen him fight is when he fought gojo and anyone you stack up against gojo obviously they're gonna be made to look really weak and he can just ignite people like that can't he and we saw that before in the cafe in like season one when they introduced him and introduced his power he is really strong even though he's a bit comedic it's important not to forget that because i guess like some weaker sorcerers he probably could just immediately set on fire the way he does with regular humans if they're caught off guard right and i am wondering you know last episode we did see everyone else you know we we saw um all of the other groups when they're going to be arriving because at the moment it's only gojo and then mei mei and yuji going in and um yu yu as well so i wonder the kind of time frame the waves of people coming in when yuji and mei mei they walk down the stairs then it can't i thought they were seeing another group because it looked like there was someone with black hair but i think it was just the resolution and it was mei mei and yuji we were seeing there from a distance I thought for a second we were seeing Fushiguro the other side and like two groups had like um, connected up. Again, I want to re-watch the bit where she explains the map and everything because there's like the cross-section map but then also like the plan map just so I can get a grasp on the spatiality of everything that's happening, you know? Especially when more groups start to come in. The thing is at the moment they're kind of raiding this um, train station Obviously, we know at the bottom floor is everything going on with Gojo. And then Chozo is there. Hanami is there. And Jogo is there. Ghetto must be around there so he can walk in soon and surprise Gojo. So then Mojito slightly above. If more people come along, who are they going to be fighting? Is it just going to be random spirits? Will we be introduced to some new ones? Because like all of the ones we know are kind of accounted for here. It's only really Mojito who's like further up who could be fighting some some more of the people who are trying to get down there. And of course, some of the people are probably like there as support and aren't going down to fight or like outside. So if anything tries to escape, they can hunt it down or like there as support trying to evacuate. You know, there's more roles than just going in and fighting, I guess, as well, aren't there? So some of them might be doing some of that as well. So I'm, so I'm excited to see where the arc goes from here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below. And if you really love this, be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all the future uploads. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys later.